Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We're playing Wrath of the Lich King as a troll shaman. Starting this episode here in Senjin Village. We have uh, one more quest to complete before we can head north. And that is the Kolkar Aggression quest. Apparently we also need one of the intact eyes from the humanoids. Let's mine that copper. There's a warrior here fighting the centaur. A mage. She probably just completed that quest. So these are level six. Could invite the warrior. I think she's interested in the quest as well. And I need to cast Rockbiter Web. Patchwork Armor. There's even a chest for us. Found two potions last time. Wasn't bad at all. I guess the warrior was probably gonna need them more. We do have the ability to heal. Destroyed the attack plans. Oh, hold on. Could try getting the copper there. Somewhat of a hidden path. Glad to see someone is questing in this area. Somewhat late. Most people are usually playing, I want to say the afternoon and evening. With this warrior at our side, we're gonna be out of here in no time. The rusty hatchet. So wait, these gloves... Yeah, they were better. Forgot to equip them. In the previous episode, they were a reward from the Echo Isles quest. These are the final attack plans for Orgrimmar. So these are destroyed. Yeah, we can move out. Hey, it's the war, the warlock. We grouped up with him. 
to defeat some of the trolls. I wonder what's in that chest. Linen, potions, yeah, some spring water. Not bad at all. Everyone is done, it seems. Interesting axe. I like that model. I believe each new weapon skill you want to train is going to cost you about 10 silver. And we also need one of the intact eyes. We're gonna thank our friend here. And we're ready to move on. Four more quests. Look at these question marks, perfectly aligned. We need to find Lar. I can see he's sneaking around the fallen tree. pick up I think the fighter's cloak spirits be with the man a few more points of armor never hurt the glowing skull is going to steal life from enemies that along with a potion can be used to turn the tides Good if we have to fight a powerful enemy be careful, man. And we're getting 10 pieces of sticky glue. It's going to render a target unable to move. Stay away from that one. Yeah. About a thousand more experience. I really like these. Let's place them. We're gonna keep the stones. Could also keep those. I could sell this one. That's it. Let's make our way north.
But are we going to find some copper? Let's see. Could turn right here and check the area behind the keep. I'm looking forward to selling some of that. Some of the copper, maybe the stones as well. Somewhat of a decent shield, 79 points of armor. But then again, we're probably better off selling it, simply because we'll be able to purchase a shield that has some useful stats. Maybe stamina, strength. we're level 10 now so most of these enemies are green they don't really offer a lot of experience let's mine what we can and go to razor hill who knows maybe we're gonna be level 11 by the time we finish all these quests. Copper was cleverly hidden. Even got a malachite. One more for us. Mining skill of 12. And 13. We're really going to need the extra bags. Follow the copper. Boar Tusk.
And I believe we can cross... We can cross the canyon to get to the watchtower. I know that this area has a lot of copper. And I believe I just saw the zeppelin. Approaching the dock. Got a chunk of meat. These are burning blade cultists. Cleverly hidden vein behind that rock there. We're gonna deal with her. So she has a plank with a with a nail. Yeah, but honestly, she's doing a lot of damage. And dropped a lumberjack axe. Inventory is full. I definitely want to get the shadow gem. Could equip that. Can we make it? Yes. Let's go straight ahead. We can speak to the orc on top of the watchtower. More mining for us. Always glad to see these. We have 49 pieces of ore. Okay. These are the higher level armored scorpions. Nothing to loot on that one. Let's climb the tower. Strength and honor. So this is Furl the Watchman. For the Horde. Most excellent, he says. A good shaman will surely find a use for this bag. Absolutely. Strength. And, yep, eight more slots. Really good. One of the best quests. Don't miss it. It's on the watchtower here. It's not difficult to miss. Especially if you don't use one of the questing add-ons. Speak, friend. So we're gonna hand the eggs Strength. for the whole to Torka here. Loktar. Let me sell all this junk. A quest item. It's probably gonna send us Down. somewhere else. This is also available. What do you need? The conscript of the horde. We look pretty strong, apparently. Yeah. May your blades Not gonna die. comment on that. We're just gonna nod and 
get the recruitment letter. They need more people to fight. Fight a good fight in the Barrens. Sunk, sunk. Let's complete Call Vanquish the Betrayers. The From the records is another quest that we can get here. So we need to retrieve some Nomis tools from the wreckage of Proudmoor's fleet off the coast. Yeah, this is just east of uh, Tiragard. We saw some of these For the horde. sunken ships. Dabu, go forth to Reach level 11. Yeah, we completed quite a few quests here. So the Admiral's orders is a two-part quest. We need to deliver Proudmoor's orders to Vol'jin. Go with honor. He's next to Thrall in the throne room. And we can also speak to the Shaman Trainer. Swart. Let's place one more talent point. Hey there. Taijin, the priest trainer. Thrall Hall. The Call of Fire. Go forth to victory. So it's been some time since we were tested last. And I think this time we need to learn about greater powers. I think he's referring to... To the fire totem. The element of fire can be ours, if we're prepared to pay for it. So we need to speak with Cranal Fis in the Barrens. Lives in a small dwelling north of the crossroads. For the Horde, Rooktar. More importantly, we can learn the way of the spirits. Look at all these qua Whoa. We can learn Flame Shock. Stone Claw. Yeah, we're gonna learn everything. There's Lightning Shield and a new rank of Rockbiter. There's Flame Tongue Weapon, Strength of the Earth. No new Restoration ability. At level 12, we have a few, but that's gonna have to wait. There's, of course, the ability. <clears throat> course the ability to use mail armor at level 40 only costs one gold piece and 14 silver pieces be safe we do have enough silver coins what do you need? we're gonna train the first aid skill here May your blades never dull. that's a secondary profession We can create 31 linen bandages. We're gonna do just that. And while we create these, let's take a moment to open our spell book. We need to update all these skills. A new rank of earth shock. Does a bit more damage. We'll get a new rank of flame shock. It's going to instantly sear the target and then deal 42 fire damage over 18 seconds. The periodic damage may critically strike. I mean, glad to hear that. A new rank of lightning bolt. Yeah. Why not? This is the stone claw totem. It's going to summon a totem with 90 health, which is going to taunt creatures within eight yards. And enemies attacking have a chance to be stunned. I really like that. It even protects our other totems. So bandages, we can keep a few. Go 
could sell the others. These only restore 66 points of health. They're not... Not that amazing. The Lightning Shield is a decent one. Rock Biter is going to increase damage per second by 4. That's pretty good. And Strength of the Earth. The Storm is going to increase both Strength and Agility. We're getting some pretty nice... Nice supportive abilities here. Nothing new on restoration, we already applied. The second rank of healing touch. What are you looking for? Let's sell that one. We have about ten silver pieces. strength. Can't really do much else. We have a decent amount of stones. Copper also. So our next step is gonna be probably to deal with a quail boar. I like that idea. So, Rockbiter rank 2. There's some copper for us. Can't really say if Flame Tongue weapon is gonna be better. I still believe that Rockbiter is going to be more powerful, but you never know. I might have to test this out. Warming with these quill board. Then again, we're pretty powerful. We should be able to deal with them. Could use some food. Can have a drink as well. should pull them as far away from the group as possible so when they run we have a second or two before they aggro the others mm, that is okay That stone claw taught him. Definitely helped there. I think I'm gonna summon it again.
Now I'm really glad I allocated points into this talent. What is inside? No, not that much. This is Maximus Decimus. Quite the name. It's got a nice weapon, though. I thought he was interested in the copper. He probably just wants to complete these quests. So we only need some dust runners, we need some battle guards. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. There's another paladin. Biscuit base. He's got a glowing weapon as well. Another boar tusk. There's a priest, level 10, smiting the quill boar. I wish I could purge these uh, heal over time spells, but we do not have that ability yet. I wonder when the shaman is going to get it. I honestly don't even remember when it was available during the classic, the classic shaman playthrough. Maybe the priest wants to join us. two of these and then again there's two of us two wonderful copper veins Crude sword. Now I believe the priest is done. Good luck, he says. And he's off. That's okay. He was kind enough to join us.
Are we gonna play Follow the Trail of Copper again? I actually have a better idea. Wait, two copper veins? Since we are somewhat close to the barrens, we could cross the river here. There is a bridge. Can complete the conscript, speak with uh, Cranal Fis about the shaman quest. Look at that, we're just at the entrance of the Thunder Ridge. More copper. Oh, is that above or below? Oh, it's right there. They deal a decent chunk of damage. It's not even the lizard bolts. It's their normal attacks that you have to worry about. Even more copper. And there's something above, too. Really wish I had an interrupt for those. Mining skill of twenty five. Is this level 13 mage and a 13 shaman Doing the damage that enemies take from the lightning shield orbs and then the periodic damage of flame shock, I think we're dealing a decent amount of damage over time. Or something. 
something like damage over time. South Huey River. I wonder if these two head to the Barrens as well. At level 13... Yeah, you're basically ready for everything. Two crocolisks. This is Colonel Battlescar. What do you need, Dabu? Go forth to victory. And the crossroads conscription. We need to find Sergra Darkthorn. Strength. I believe she's the salmon. Before we run to crossroads, though, there is one more quest. There is a hut. That's where we're gonna find... His name was Fiss. Coronel Fiss. He's gonna help us harness the element of fire. In the end of the quest line, I honestly don't remember much. I think we have to gather a few items, naturally. But at the end, we will get the fire totem, and I also think we'll automatically learn the Searing Totem. Similar to the first class quest, which offered Stone Skin Totem as a reward. But honestly, I don't see myself using Stone Skin all that much. The extra armor is not a bad thing to have. Strength and agility are much better though. Can increase the armor granted, uh, I guess by 20%. Still feel it's not gonna be enough. So it was Swart that uh, sent us to him indeed. Swart could always be trusted. Go forth to victory. Now to create the Sapta, we're gonna need... Well first we need to bring the Torch of the Dormant Flame to Telf Julam at the Shrine of Flame. Be safe. Loktar. And to find him, we'd need to climb another hidden path. This one was a bit tricky to find. It's actually back in Durotar. Between the river and one of the Quillbore areas, you can find a path. It's marked by some stone uh, obsidian obsidian obelisks someone was flying above these, these are the razor mane of thorn hill we're not gonna engage with them even though yeah we're somewhat ready to deal with them they are around our level. And we're already diseased. The reason I'm here is because I want to unlock the crossroads flight path.
maybe run to Ratchet as well. The Blood Elf Paladin Polus. Maybe they were not happy with Eversong Woods and the Ghostlands. They're trying their luck in the Barrens. I have to say, though, the areas the Blood Elves and also the Draenei start in are uh, a bit more intelligently designed. They have their own atmosphere, of course. Some people might end up liking the barons more. What could I help you with? Zarg has a quest for us to deliver some meats to for order. Bard. Yeah, we're going to accept that. He's got some choice cuts of meat he wants to send to a friend. So his friend is Gorishka, the innkeeper in Orgrimmar. Oh, inventory is full. Blood and thunder. Well, let's try to sell what we can. Oh, these are well, they're better than nothing. Can sell those. The Torin Innkeeper. Not accepting any quests, at least for now. Lotar. Now we have the flight path. Uh, speaking of quests, speak quickly. We can grab the quest to Goodbye. deliver the crate to the wharf master. Ah, I've been expecting you. Stable master back here. Sub sub go forth to victory. So now we grab it. We're gonna hand in the recruitment letter. She also offers the Plain Strider Menace. Strength. Most of these Plain Striders are low level enough, but at the same time, we have plenty of lower level quests still in Durotar. Blood and thunder for the Horde. Go with honor. Let's run to Ratchet and make sure that we don't pull anything stronger that we can handle on the way there. We'll stick to the road. Plane Striders are level 11, 12. Yeah. It's going to be one of the first quests we're going to do in this area. Zero level 14. We're gonna leave them alone. They're not hostile to us. Even though there is a quest to hunt them eventually. I 
can see another mine entrance. There's also a watchtower. Level 16 hyena. Also copper. And we're almost at Ratchet. Anything sneaking up on us? Nope. You can see a sickly gazelle. I think these are just hyenas and prowlers. We're gonna speak to the Wharfmaster we can hand the crate to him and then we can also grab the flight path This was a troll there. Level 12 mage. I got the best deal anywhere! And Lizarek the weapons dealer. Talk to me! She's got some decent items. Although we cannot use maces yet. We're gonna have to wait until we reach Thunder Bluff, because this is where we can train <laughs> both well we we do have one-handed maces available from the beginning as a shaman. For two-handed maces, we have to wait. Imported weaponry. The plate and chain. Lots of shops around here. We have another flight path available. Floating debris. If anyone wants to mine, well, not mine, wants to fish. And some oily blackmouth. Hey, how you doing? Have a good one. So that was another quest complete. We could use our hearthstone. And we're gonna get back to Razor Hill. We're close to level 12. Can complete the encroachment quest. Oh, you know what? Before we complete it, we can also grab some of the Gnomus tools from the wreck of uh, Proudmoor's fleet shouldn't take long at all and then we'll definitely going to be level 12 and learn some interesting skills
level 5 enemies no longer offer us experience. We've come a long way. We're going to do some mining and then we can get the Nomis tools. We have a skill of 30. One shining toolbox. Even though I understand why the developers implemented this change, I think it's a bit silly to have these items sparkle like this. It's nice to have to use your eyes and spot these items in the world, but hey. That was number three. of damage there. No more copper, unfortunately. Something else I just realized is that if you open the talent here at level 20, we can get this shamanistic focus, but something I remember from when I was playing the classic version of the Shaman, is that there was a talent here that allowed you to use two-handed maces and two-handed axes. But it's not available at all. Which probably means you can simply go to the trainer and get these uh, weapon skills. Which is a very welcome change. Thundering Strikes is also pretty awesome. Increases our crit chance with both spells and attacks. Even though with an Enhancement Shaman we're going to be doing a lot of uh, melee attacks, I believe a good portion of our damage is still going to come from spells.
We're definitely going to be level 12. And I believe after we complete these two, we can head to Orgrimmar. We have a quest to complete there. We can also pick the quest chain, hidden enemies from Thrall. Sub -sub. Go forth to victory. And get some boots. Or the Sunrunner wears wrist guards. It was not a belt, it was actually bracers. And we can also complete encroachment. Dabu. About a thousand more experience. Look at that. By leveling, we gained one point in each stat. We'll place the Stalin to enhancing totems. Still don't have Flame Dong totem. Speak, friend. So what can we learn? We can get a Fire Nova. Which is going to cause our active fire totem to emit a flame wave. That's pretty awesome. We don't have a fire totem yet. We're going to have to work on that. This is purge. It's going to remove one beneficial effect from an enemy. Really powerful ability. Oh, it's going to cost seven silver. Uh, we're not going to have enough to train everything. Well, that's fine. We're going to get birds. I don't think we're going to be resurrecting anyone. At least not in the near future. A new rank of healing wave would be pretty useful. May your blades but it's not really a priority. And we can speak to Grot. What are you looking for? Still don't need to repair anything. Okay. Let's sell all these. Only have what? Three silver? Yeah. We're gonna have to figure out a way to make money. I think after creating some of the bandages here. I'm going to end the episode. We did well in this one. Made some progress with the Shaman Quest. We have a first aid skill of 40. We're gonna keep a few bandages, sell the rest. Yep. Victory! There's a Tauren, fellow shaman, followed by a priest. That being said, it's time to take a break. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the shaman playthrough in Wrath of the Lich King. Maybe it's not as exciting as a hardcore playthrough, but I do welcome a more uh, quiet, atmospheric, laid back playthrough from time to time that being said stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next part